Smoking. Ever since St. Patrick brought the first amber leaf back from a lad's holiday in Ibiza way back in 1906, it has been a staple in Irish life, from supermodels to stressed art students. Originally thought to be great crack altogether, studies pioneered by the Nazis found out that it wasn't as much crack as it seemed. In 2004, the Fianna Fáil government brought in a smoking ban. Because ruining the country wasn't enough, they had to ruin everyone's fun as well. Campuses all around Ireland followed, and in 2013, UCD announced its intention to go smoke-free. Not to be outdone by the dirty papists, and realising no smokers would mean a lot more American tourists, Trinity did the same. After a five-year implementation plan, Trinity finally announced this year that smokers really are diabolical pricks. A referendum was held at the beginning of 2018 to see whether the students supported a smoke-free campus, with a convincing 70% responding that they do. There were accusations of unfairness on the part of the student union, however, as the referendum was held from exactly 12.50pm until 1pm, when everyone in the arts block heads out for their fifth rollie of the morning. As a result, only 7% of the student population cast a vote in the referendum. We decided to ask a few Trinity smokers what they think. We then found a very passionate man about the matter, and luckily for us, by the style of jersey he was wearing, he was still living in 2008. So of course they're here for a dag one day, right? And this chap comes over, this Sublet comes over, and he's like, get rid of that. And I'm like, stall the weed, go away, or I'll carp you. So he wouldn't go away. So I drove him a kick, and he went to ground, and I drove him a few more kicks, and she was all sorted then, because he was only a Kanye fiend. Roll ya. Another student who was outraged by the new announcement was a first-year best student, Ronan McNamara. This college is an absolute disgrace. It's dropping faster in the rankings than Digo's head when he sees a fat line on the table. <laughs> yeah. And they won't even let us have a fucking cigarette outside? In my father's day at The Rock, teachers would fucking smoke it for you and then give you a hand shooting up. Daddy will be hearing all about this. To test whether Trinity were really enforcing this smoking ban, I decided to go undercover as an art student and have a rollie. After raiding a charity shop to get the perfect outfit, I was ready for my possibly fatal experiment to begin. No, 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 please, no, no. I just wanted to be cool in front of the art block kids. I just wanted to be cool in front of the art block kids. My protests were in vain, and I was led away for a series of lectures which consisted of the line, American tourists know like smoking, so smoking bad, for three hours on repeat. If that wasn't horrifying enough, they took place in somewhere worse than prison. Feces smeared on the walls, not an oversized shirt or parachute pants in sight, and people with actual job prospects. The science building. So... The re-education process has taken a quick smoke break. I think I'll use this as my chance to escape. Is this truly democracy gone too far? With many people furious, flagrant breaking of the rules, and the arts kids and science kids getting more and more hostile by the day, personally, I can only see one solution to this messy predicament. Civil war. Up my own hole, Trinity Truths. <laughs>